Yes, there is a difference. You have temporal pole shifts and you've got lithospheric displacement. Do not confuse them. Lithospheric displacement has only happened three times in recorded history. Uh, 3895 BC. You know what? I just lied to you. It only, it's only happened... The last time it happened was 3895 BC. That's right. That's the only time. It was before... It was before it's remembered in traditions the devastation was so complete that ancient civilizations considered it as a new heavens and a new earth because the stars had changed. The zodiacal signs were no longer in the position that they had been recorded to be in. The star patterns didn't match the stellar messages attached to them now. 3895 BC saw a new heavens and new earth because of lithospheric displacement. The next lithospheric di displacement is in 2040. It will be caused by the phoenix. It's not going to be temporal. Phoenix has done like four different times Oh, 2239 B.C., the Great Flood. 1687 B.C., the Ogygian Deluge. There was one period between them that was really devastating. It's mentioned in the Ramayana, and it's confirmed in, in Akkadian texts. Uh, 1915 B.C. or 1963 B.C. One of them, one of them was a Phoenix year, and uh, it, it happened then too, but it was temporal. Um, 713 B.C., it happened again, and it's mentioned in the uh, Book of Isaiah, or it's mentioned in one of the Chronicles, I can't remember, but the story is King Hezekiah and the prophet Isaiah watched the, watched the shadow on the sundial go back 10 degrees at the exact same. It didn't just stop. It stopped and then reversed itself 10 degrees. That's not possible unless the sun reversed, stopped and reversed itself and went the other direction in the sky, which isn't possible unless the simulacrum is, try, is mimicking temporal pole shift because everything resumed to normal back then. But during that episode, 185,000 Assyrian soldiers all wearing bronze armor, bronze helms, bronze shields, bron holding bronze weapon, br bronze bucklers were vaporized in a flux tube storm. Thunderbolts from the sky just vaporized them, which we know because we saw this in the year 1994 when, when a Swift Tuttle Comet broke up into 21 different pieces after it was blasted by a flux tube blast. When two magnetospheres come too close in contact, the greater one will shoot the lesser one and break it up. And that's what happened. So, uh, I forgot why I was talking about that, but that was a temporal pole shift happened then too, but everything returned. Temporal pole shifts are just that. They're temporary. They're, they only last for a few hours. Everything goes back to normal. But it's all simulated.